Johnson was a classic NFL fullback. He was part of the famed million-dollar backfield in San Francisco, playing alongside halfbacks Hugh McElhenney and Joe Perry and quarterback Y.A. Tittle. All four men are in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and John Henry's bruising play is a big reason why. I was a good hitter. I liked to hit and block, and you had to block for the quarterback and for the other backs, so I was proficient with that. Well, I enjoyed blocking. It gave me a chance to hit the guy and knock him down, you know, and to see one of our backs succeed and make a lot of yards from it. It made me feel real good. Johnson's blocking helped Joe Perry, number 34, win back-to-back -back rushing titles in 1953 and 54. But John Henry was equally dangerous as a runner, and his opponents knew it. If you're a running back, if you're a good running back, and you're a threat to them, they take extra things, try to punish you, try to scare you, try to intimidate you. You know, they do all things to you. You know, they twist your arm, twist your leg, they bite you, they put the rub your hands in your eyes, they do every little thing to intimidate you. So you have to, you have to counterattack them, you know. So I hit him with my elbow. I was good with my elbow. In 1957, Johnson was traded to Detroit, and he led the team in rushing as the Lions rolled to the NFL championship. At 6'2 and 225 pounds, Johnson combined power and speed. He spent three years with the Lions. Then he was traded to Pittsburgh in 1960. He was 31 when he joined the Steelers, but he proved he was only getting better with age. In 1962, he became the first Steelers back to rush for 1,000 yards in a season. Big John Henry reverses his field and breaks into the clear. Johnson cracked the 1,000-yard mark again in 1964, and that year, at age 35, he had the biggest game of his career when the Steelers visited their most bitter rival, the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers employed a simple strategy. They just kept giving the ball to number 35. We found a play that worked, and we worked it. You know, we used all time. Run off tackle, I ran off tackle 10, 5, 30 times like that. And they couldn't stop him. Johnson set a Steelers record, rushing for 200 yards on 30 attempts. When he retired in 1967, Johnson ranked fourth among all time NFL rushers. Yet he had to wait more than 20 years to be voted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I, I knew my record was as good as anybody that they had put in there before me. So, you know, it made you feel kind of bad, you know, uh, after a while, but mm, it overcame. They finally put me in. I give you John Henry Johnson. Since Johnson had his best years in Pittsburgh, he asked Steelers president Art Rooney to be his Hall of Fame presenter. Mr. Rooney was real at the time that I was being presented to Canton the Hall of Fame. He got about his sick bed and came over to Canton and did an excellent job of making a presentation on my behalf. It's a great honor for John and wonderful for the people that chose John to go into the Hall of Fame because he certainly deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I was confident someday I would be here. But then on the other hand, I thought I might be there since it takes so long. And today I feel that I finally have that respect. I want to tell you that it makes me feel damn good. 